We welcome you here to a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. The next generation's ring walk, just a cool, calm stride to him. Looks like just another day in his life. He's approaching the ring now, and this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. There's more room for defensive error with the taller fighter, I assume, here? Yes, there is, because now all of a sudden you're punching down. You're taught to punch on a straight plane where you don't leave anything open. You punch down, and somebody comes up with a punch. Next thing you know, you're picking yourself up off the canvas. You see him holding on. Missed the body shot. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. And he ties up on the inside. The next generation's left now getting into the mix. On the receiving end of a big and accurate hook that wasted no time. Great movement to get away from those punches. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth a right hand. Locks that punch. Hook! Oh, what a huge power punch. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures body that he's going to try to move shot. on him, so start doing it early on, and later on he's going to have a guy in front of him. On the stage. Just, just, just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's, 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 nice workout. Okay, okay. How you doing? You okay? Now I need to use your feet. Move around the ring. You got that? Okay, now let's go. Move around the ring. You got that? Okay, now let's go. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's something to him. And the only way that you find the medal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's shown what he's made of. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Watch that. 
The next generation's putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. Showing you some defense there with the block. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. Halfway through this round. The next generation's right hand scores well. Good block. <laughs> Seems like he's clinching a little more. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, Teddy. So could this be a case of him trying to find a way to buy himself some time, of steadying himself a bit. Yeah, that's exactly what he's trying to do. And his opponent has to take advantage. On the inside, rotate your shoulders back, create a little distance, a little room, and make sure you don't let him tie you up. Don't let him do what he wants to do. The left hook is working good. You just take it to him. Apply some pressure. You understand what I'm saying? That's it, that's it. Okay, relax. Just like that, all right? Another round, just like that. He doesn't like those body shots. Believe me, he doesn't like that, kid. Keep working the body. Take some of that. The next generation's punch didn't come close. Well-placed left hand there. Step back counter punch there. The next generation is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Gets rid of that effort. He missed with that headshot. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Scores well that time. You're not focusing. You're not focusing. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. One, two. One, two. Good. Upper cut. Wide open. Upper cut, baby. Come on. Ten seconds to go in this third round. The next generation's got to deal with a cut cheek. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. And that does it for this round. Good. This is what I need you to do. Keep shooting a jab to his chest. His hands will drop and follow with the power shot. All right, keep this guy off balance. Beautiful. Nice. You're letting this thing get away from us, champ. Come on now, this is it. You gotta make a fight right now. There you go. While things continue like this, this is going to be an interesting stretch run of this fight. Beginning of round number four.
Double he tried to nab it. him up top, but was unable to connect. Nice work, nice work. Locks that belt line well. Halfway through round number four. Try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. It's okay. Pay him back. to go in the fourth. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body. Because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Make your presence known and certain. Round number five has arrived. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go... Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription keep for him. Moving, well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Just an excessive amount of holding just here. Like just that. much too much hey, clinching. Got some of that, too. Let's go. Mm. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Halfway into round number five here. Hit the elusive target with that straight right. Beat him to the punch. Teddy, you gotta like this because he's using that jab the way you like him to. Especially when you're being aggressive. You walk in, you want to walk in where the guy can't see you coming. That jab blinds your opponent. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. Good shot to the head with that right hand. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all.
action now. We're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight. You get the sense this one may not go the distance. Oh, what an uppercut. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Now he ties up there. Uppercut! Uppercut! The next generation's making this like artwork here. I mean, his defense is just a masterpiece. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, actually. You know, the, the sweet science. It's not supposed to be about going in there and eating punches. It's supposed to be about going in there, avoiding punches. You know, finding a way to hit your opponent without him hitting you. He understands that. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Jump on him. Nice. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. To the head he goes with a left hand. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Oh, what an uppercut that puts him down. he gets and if he wants to stay up he's gonna have to grab on kill a little time the next generation is able to land a good solid left hand working our way towards the bell last 10 seconds of the sixth what a difference from corner to corner as he sits on his stool he knows that he is in complete control of this fight peppering his opponent with power shots well it's been like that all night long anything he throws finds a target that is it that's it i need another round like that just like that all right doing good just keep it up all right. listen he's done he is done i want you to double up that jam and then finish so the second half of this fight has now arrived the next generation's just punching air that time his opponent was able to get out of the way keep working the jab good good A headshot blocked. The next generation's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability that's to anticipate? It. It. You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. And you can see he wanted to One, do two. that as he holds nice. on. Nice. At the halfway point of round seven. The next generation's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Yeah, baby, good work, good work. Took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Nice work with the left hand. Hey, keep your hands up. Looking good. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, ten seconds to go. The next generation's well off the mark that time. And round seven comes to an end. He ain't been punched with your kind of power.
Let's make sure we make them feel it. I want to see hooks to the body and hooks to the head, all right? Hook to the body and to the head. You got to breathe. You got to breathe. All right? How you feeling out there? You know you're not winning this fight. Okay? As we open up round eight, we look at Teddy's scorecard, and it is much the same. All these rounds now starting to just blur together. They're taking the same exact form, one guy dominating the other. Yeah, and the one who's dominating, why should he change? Of course he's not going to change. All the emphasis, all the burden now is on the opponent. He's got to change something. The next generation is throwing lots of punches, and not many are landing. But what's that old saying, hey, you put enough out there, something's going to stick? Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now, and at least when you're throwing your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit. Let it go! Keep moving, keep moving. Come on, now. He's tired. He's tired. Oh! Could this be the start of a big reach, comeback? Reach. He went from owning this fight to now nearly down and out. You know, that's what makes boxing so great. Yeah, you can come back just like that. One punch at the right time. That was at the right time. Hook, hook, he wide open for the hook. Thought he had his target, but oh, way off to the side moving. with the uppercut. Right now, more punches, baby. Punches and punches. Let's see. Solid left. Back to the body. Come on, kid. Focus. The next generation's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Nice. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Oh. Three minutes gone by in this oh, round. What are you the next for? generation's you in control of this fight, Teddy. Yeah, Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day. Control, He's ahead on the scorecard. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard too. But right yeah. now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his P's and Q's. Deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? Now I need you to keep your hands up. You keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. Keep your hands up. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Oh, you're doing great. Keep working the body. Keep working the body. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. You got this one. Hey, 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 hey. Let's go. The next generation's chosen a path here where he will not stand toe to toe opposite his opponent. He's using some very good movement. Wow, impactful short hook got to him that Let time. That's not going to be easy to survive. <laughs> Turns over that hook, and he does damage upstairs. <laughs> and he engages in the clinch. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. This one. <laughs> defense, more defense. Not focusing. You're not focusing. 
last 10 seconds of the ninth round. He just missed that shot up top. Just as he did in that round we just watched. He's been doing everything the right way tonight, and the judges have to appreciate that. Well, you would hope so. We appreciate it, and you would hope that those three judges, you would hope that they see it the right way. Okay, listen. He's going to come forward this round. Keep that jab moving. Keep him away from you, all right? I need you to keep moving. Listen, why not pick up where you left off? Remember, he was so badly damaged in the last round. You got to think his opponent should be all over him here. Could be an opportunity. Sometimes you got to take something that's dark, that's really bad, and turn it around, find the good. Maybe he can find the opportunity to catch his opponent coming after him a little careless. He got hit, but he sends it right back. left hand and it got to him badly he should really tie up now and now just wasting away some time with that clinch the next generation's doing a brilliant job with his head movement he's employing top-notch defense right here and it's frustrating his opponent it is frustrating his opponent his opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there not what's not there we know that the head's not there but what's there the body he needs to start going downstairs that will freeze up some of that head movement Come on now. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. The next generation's objective is to land that jab, and he did so right there. Coming to the end of round number 10. 10 seconds to go. Missed that uppercut. All right, breathe. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some more. You good? You all right? Now breathe for me. Now listen. You threw a wide punch, and he caught you. So tighten up your punches, all right? Tighten them up. Oh, this is a wipeout. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing, and you got this. Just... Championship rounds are here. Teddy, the corner hasn't been asked to do too much tonight. They've had it any way they've wanted it. But now comes the time where you want to reel in that victory. He's up big on your scorecards. What should they be telling us? Drive the car home, Joe. Open the garage and park it. So here he is again, missing more punches. Now, I like a guy that throws punches, Teddy. But at some point, you got to do more than that. Yeah, I tell you right now, if he was a carpenter, I would not have him coming in doing my kitchen cabinets nice because work, he'd be just nice work, cutting up a lot of wood, you know, and it'd be all over the place. But I wouldn't have the bookshelves. I wouldn't have the cabinets that I want. I would, I'd have a mess. And right now, this fight's getting messy. Head movement, head movement. He saw the uppercut, he took advantage, throwing it out there. Boy, he's really getting off with his punches and multi-numbers here. Yeah. 
Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. There you go. I shake it off. Last ten seconds. And that's the end of round 11. Now that he's back in the corner and we get a close-up look, the next generation's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it and we could say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady, the same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Do you really want to win this? Then keep working. Keep working. You gotta fight, you gotta throw more. Come on, champ, you got to get into this thing. And this is the final round. 12 rounds going at you. And this is the final round, round number 12 coming at you. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Piercing jab. Not able to land the headshot. That's it. Just like that. He's still not moving enough. Come on now. Well, he's committed to the left hand and it's paying off here. Oh, what a... Oh, he is stunned. He could go solid. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Good punch, job protecting punch, himself. Punch, that's it. Just a minute to go in this bout. Beat him in a punch. Oh. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does big shot. Knocked down again. Unreal. Now you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? Generations corner is already celebrating his opponent unable to beat the count. That woke up the fans. Wow, did that wake up the fans. A fight that was assured of heading to the judges' scorecards, it ends by knockout. That's why as a trainer, you like a fight that's close, that's closely contested, there's a little danger going on, because then you know that your guy's gonna stay alert. Here, there was no danger, he fell asleep, and now he is asleep. I'm Joe Tessitore for Teddy Atlas, saying thanks for being with us, and enjoy the rest of your night.